guys, welcome back to Choose Your Own Path. Today, holy shit balls, we got a big one to do. All right, so, I was contacted uh, through Facebook from a friend of mine, Robert Unick. I'll mention his name because he's a great guy, 30-year master carver, super, super nice guy. All right, so this guy asks some if he knows anybody who can carve a dog. I don't know anybody who can carve a dog. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> so, he says to me, call the guy, talk to him. Well, I committed to a big piece. All right. What you see back there, let me just bring it down is a huge piece of cottonwood. This piece is roughly, I think it is, let me take out the measuring stick, I'll show you. No, sorry, 18 inches by 16 inches by 39. So what we're doing is we're carving a dog. So I kind of just drew this out for my own reference, my own kind of hello, whatever. It's a whippet. Part German Shepherd, I think the guy said. I will have more I'll have pictures put up of what the dog looks like. We gotta fire up the chainsaw, not today, because it is nine o'clock at night. And I'll tell you, we gotta do some cutting. So the difference between a chainsaw carver and a carver is I'm not the chainsaw carver. I'm the carver kind of guy. This needs to be blocked out, all right? The dog is only 11 to 12 inches wide. Uh, he stands, boy, he's tall, he's, he's a whippet. He stands about 29 inches tall with a four inch, you know, ear span. Big ears on the bugger, beautiful dog though. You guys gotta see the pictures. So I kind of drew it in. I'm not gonna show you that right now because it's not, it's, it's in pen, uh, sorry, marker. Obviously, the dog. Let me get you down there again. The dog's ears are going to be here, and his tail is going to be here, and there's going to be a bit of a base left at the bottom. That's a big freaking piece of wood, guys. Big piece of wood. Good God, what did I do? What what did I get myself into? I think you can do it. I'm gonna do it, I don't care. Tell me I can't do it. I'm gonna do it. Tomorrow, I gotta get some oil from a chainsaw. I got two days left of my holidays, plus the weekend. So once I get that blocked out to just, you know, that shape, then we can start using the power tools. And that's the difference between the chainsaw carver and the carver is the chainsaw carver will use his chainsaw to do 99% of the work where he's doing the hairs and the ears inside and all that I'm the carver where I block it out but I want the dog to look more realistic a lot of those chainsaw carvers can make it look realistic let me tell you I'm just hoping I can get this done now I don't have a time limit I mean I'm not going to take all year for it I'm not going to sit there and dawdle on it. I'm going to get her done. How I'm going to get her done? <laughs> Let me tell you, it's going to happen. All right, guys, stay tuned for this. Good God, this is going to be a big one. Um, I'm going to post this as the first video. So it's the introduction of doing it. Then the second video is going to be the blocking. 
third video is going to be basically the detailing and getting more of shape in fourth video will obviously be um fine detail with airbrushing and then the guy wants epoxy on his dog now he wants this thing not to crack not to split i can't guarantee that nope but i know in my own personal history of what i have outside i have two chainsaw carvings out there one is a fish one is a herring they've been out there in minus 40 celsius and plus 40 celsius and they still look the same as they did when i started now of course uh, the sun will discolor some of it this guy is going He's going in the house, but he still wants it as epoxy. So, let me get this set up. I'm just figuring out how the dog really looks. It's a whippet. I love those dogs. They're crazy. Beautiful dog. Let me get some pictures up of what I'm going to show you, what the dog looks like, and let's get at it. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Look at that motherfucker. That's crazy. All right. It's working. All right, guys. Stay tuned.